So I'm Molly, here with Sift TV, and I am with the cast of Dodeca Pentathlon, which is playing this year at SIF. It's about two very competitive brothers. Basically, there's this long-standing rivalry from this homemade Olympic event that you two started when you were younger and never, never officially finished. And they get together several, what, decades later, and the rivalry is still, still alive and well. It's very fun, and so the Duplass brothers uh, are sort of known for their riffing and uh, actor improvisation, that you guys, you have a lot of say in the film and you kind of can take it wherever you want to take it. Was that the same for Dodeca? The Duplass brothers always encourage us to improvise, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we start with the script, um, but when we get into the situations, they usually uh, throw us some curveballs mm -hmm. and if something's not working Mark and Jay will go off and huddle <laughs> and like talk we about bite our nails. Sure. Yeah, and talk about a way of reworking the scene and so yeah there there is a lot of improv. The story is in there some of it's like you can't write this. Somebody did this. Like somebody did this and has a grudge about it yeah. still, you know. Well somebody did do it. Yeah. Um, Steve went to high school with Mark and Jay and uh, there were two brothers that they all went to high school mm -hmm. with who actually had the dodecapentathlon. Okay. And the only way that they knew how to express their affection for each other was by beating the crap out of each <laughs> other. And that's where the idea for the movie came from. I did not realize the movie was shot four years ago. Yeah. So what, what led up to it um, taking four years to see the light of day now? Well, the Olympics takes place every four years, and... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was going to too. You were so <laughs> face. I was like, Because okay. Spear of the Olympics, we're sure. going to shoot it, and then, yeah. you know, let it breathe for four sure. years, and then go mm -hmm. for the gold. Cool. Dodeca Pentathlon, thank you so much for being thank with you. us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am with Trisha Ziff, filmmaker, uh, who's, whose film The Mexican Suitcase is playing this year at SIF. Uh, it's a very interesting story about uh, some very historic photographs that up until 10 years ago had not been seen by public consumption whatsoever and, and how they were discovered literally in a suitcase in somebody's closet. It was sitting in a closet in Mexico City for 70 years and essentially it was in Mexico because the images were taken during the Spanish Civil War mm -hmm. by three photographers, Robert Capa being the most famous mm -hmm. of the three photographers. Mexico was the only country to open its doors to Spanish Republican refugees after the Spanish Civil War mm -hmm. was lost to Franco. And it was with the refugees that these boxes ended up in Mexico, were lost and forgotten about in a cupboard. And then they were given to a man uh, uh, on the deathbed of the woman who owned the closet, and he realized what he had. Here we have a story about Mexico did something that no other country did. Mexico was the only country that opened its doors mm -hmm. to the refugees from Spain, that saved thousands of refugees who were dying on the beaches of the south of France in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. So I think that for me is a critical part of, uh, of the narrative and the film gave me the opportunity to tell that story which the exhibition and the book essentially doesn't explore. Again, I'm with Trisha Ziff, whose film The Mexican Suitcase is playing at SIP this year. It was very nice speaking to you, thank you. And thank you for having yeah, me. Thank you so thank much. You. I am with Gregory Smith and Sasha Nezev, I yes. said it correctly, uh, whose film American Addict is playing this year at SIF. You directed the film and you were yes. producer. Yes. So for everybody who hasn't seen it yet, do you want to give like a brief overview? Do you want to discuss what the film's about? Uh, the film is basically a very comprehensive examination of the pharmaceutical industrial complex and how it works really from a top-down perspective. It's really the uh, pyramid of how it, from the very top, and how it trickles down through Congress, down to the lobby group, to the pharmaceutical companies, to the consumer, the patients, the doctors, the universities, and finally to the, to the uh, consumers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the ordinary average citizen who takes the drugs. When you look at this and you say we're about 5% of the world's population, but we're ingesting about 80 to 90% of the world's pharmaceutical narcotics and about 50% of the world's overall narcotics. So again, we're trying That's to figure out, it is it's mind blowing, we're trying to figure out why is it that, uh, that this is happening. When you're filming a documentary film, you sort of put your investigator hat on mm -hmm. and you're examining things. You don't really know where it's going to take sure. you. So that's fascinating in, in several angles. 
But on the other hand, if you're doing a voiceover, which is why I'm not a fan of the voiceover or and you foregrounding things, you could sort of sum this up and write it out and, you know, audio project it mm -hmm. to your audience or whatnot. Spoon feed them. Right. Spoon feed them. Tell them. Exactly. You're right. Yeah, you're telling right. them what to think. You're, you're picking and choosing what information Absolutely. you want to give them. But yeah. instead, we found these different subject researching and had them talk about you know that their specific angle um, or their, their expertise on the subject threaded about 11 12 hours of footage into 90 minutes wow. and then we came up with this film and then we, we the thing is we you know the, the first thing I said to him is I don't want this to look like a documentary mm -hmm. that that I, I what what would make someone get out of their house and go pay money to see this in a theater we want it to look and feel more like a real movie so mm -hmm. to speak and not like a dry documentary so that's why we have you know we have original music score mm -hmm. you know, we have send dog from cypress hill and other people right. like that in that actually is part of the the title track and and so the editor that we use you know, the sound people we use were all normally not documentary documentary filmmakers sure. we, we wanted to look more like a movie so to speak well it was really it was an honor talking to both of you this is one that I can't express how important this is to see American Addict uh, here again with Greg Smith and Sasha Nezev uh, thank you so much for talking thank to you. us thank for you today. very much thank you this is Molly with SimTV